All right. Welcome. So um, this is a, kind of like the open source design collective session, so where we just kind of introduce the uh, what we're doing as the open source design group uh, and just describing who we are and what we do. And uh, yeah, just in advance, this is not an exclusive group or anything. Like we're an open collective of all kinds of designers, design-minded developers, people who want to improve the design of uh, free and open source software. So yeah, every one of you who cares about that is uh, very welcome opensourcedesign.net uh, and yeah please take photos uh, you can tweet or toot them or yeah diaspora them I don't care uh, hashtag open source design um, yeah so uh, first we're gonna do a bit of what we already have like the platforms we already have and um, yeah Kathy do you want to say something about that <laughs> okay sure sure so uh, we have a website uh, it's collaborate collaboratively uh, written by us on GitHub so you can contribute. And on this platform, we are uh, writing articles about uh, uh, design, so uh, we're trying to keep up with today with uh, what's new. But also, uh, we list the events, so we have a recurrent event uh, every month, and uh, you can see what date is there and what's new in, 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 the, in, the, in the platform. Mm -hmm. And also, we have the job post. Um, uh, where uh, open source organizations can make the request and, may, and they help for designers to, to come to help them. So here you can see if uh, uh, the job is paid or is gratis and uh, what kind of type it is. So some are uh, graphic uh, requirement or UX, so, and you can do that for your organization. Or if you're a designer and you don't know where to contribute, you can use our platform to, to find out. And then... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then our uh, major uh, communication channel is the Twitter. Uh, this is the address, and now we have like um, almost 2,000 followers. And uh, uh, yes, we are trying to keep it up to date and uh, marketing the, the events we're going like like for them this year. Please follow us so we get to 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, we better spread the word <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> so awesome. that multiple design joins. <laughs> Numbers are not that important. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Um, Next, should I? Yes, sure. Uh, then, uh, yeah, if you want to get involved more, uh, the website and uh, everything else that we do is, uh, like, uh, is on, on GitHub. So we have a GitHub organization. Um, the website, yeah, opensourcedesign.github.io is that repository. We also have the, the jobs board. Like, all, all we do uh, is free and open source. And the events are there. So if you have, like, an, an event which is related to open source and design, you can also add your event there. So, like, we're kind of organizing some events, like, like this, for example, this, this open source design room at FOSDEM or at FOS Asia, for example. We will talk about that uh, in a bit also. But also, if you have an event that you are organizing or if you give a talk uh, about design at an open source conference or about open source at a design conference or any of these, uh, feel free to add them um, Yeah, and feel free to join. And uh, another thing that uh, uh, we have is an IRC channel, so uh, also hash open source design. And this, I don't know if, you're, if you know it, it's, it's a, an IRC app, it's called Riot, and there we also have a community uh, for all open source design related channels. So for example, you see we have GNOME design there, uh, Riot's design channel itself, but also Wikimedia UX, uh, Mozilla design, all these different uh, design channels. So that if you wanna get involved as a designer in, in these open source communities, you can look through there, for example. Yeah, and then this is last year's FOSDEM group picture. We will do a group picture right after this session, so we will do it the same way, so you will all be part of it. Uh, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then uh, we'll, we'll hear a bit about the events that we did uh, this year, or the main events uh, from Victoria. Okay. What did we do last year? <laughs> uh, this is this year. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this year, and uh, I just want to advertise one uh, particular event here, pitch your project at uh, 4.30. So if you want to find people to work together with, if you want to find designers, if you just, just want to advertise your open source project, please come here, we will give you a stage in five minutes, uh, and uh, let us know what you do. We are very interested, and we will put, uh, post it on our uh, uh, job board if you need any help. Uh, this is a FOSS Asia event. Uh, any of you uh, been to Singapore to FOSS Asia? Awesome, awesome, great event. And uh, we also try to create, uh, to make a design track there. 
Uh, it's a very growing young community, and uh, this year in March there also will be a uh, design track. Please uh, consider to come. We have uh, stickers uh, on your way out uh, for Sergio. Pick them up. Advertise for that awesome event. Uh, what's next? Ah, and I think you d uh, you organize yeah, yeah. it. So, um Sure. As for Seja, last year was the first year, so this would be the second. And uh, for FOSDEM, uh, we started in 2015, so this is our th third third year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's... Uh, and actually, yeah, for, for, so yeah, this is the fourth dev room, and we have a booth this year also for the first time. And at FOSDEM, for the first, like two years ago, we also had a booth. Yeah. Yeah, and so. FOSDEM is really important because this is where we met, so if we do it every year, this is our major event. So another one um, is uh, the Open Tech Summit that's in, in Berlin, Potsdam. And there we also organized an, an open source design track. Uh, so for example, Elio, who did the, who did the uh, talk before this, uh, was also there. Uh, and Jan from Wikimedia, for example, and a bunch of other people. And uh, yeah, that's also one conference where we did like a whole track on open source design uh, at, at, an, at a free and open source software conference. And uh, yeah, we also, yeah, Bernard, do you want to say something about that? <laughs> We, <laughs> we also um, had an uh, introduction to open source design at last, this, last year's, this year's... Both years, actually. We were there yeah, yeah, 33C3 and 34C3, so the Chaos Computer um, Congress uh, in Leipzig this year. Um, we were in the free open source um, um, community area. We had lots and lots of people um, come. Um, they asked lots of really interesting questions, um, and again, it was just a really um, positive reaction to talking about design and user-centered design in open source software, uh, which was which was really good. Yeah, I was actually part of the Free Software Foundation Europe Assembly, so thanks for to them for for hosting us. Yeah. And then, yeah, one big thing we did this year. <laughs> okay, so it was or the last year. last year, yeah. So it was our first summit. So we uh, we gathered in Berlin. I'm not sure how many were. Not not that many, but 25. 25. Uh, you know. Wikimedia Deutschland um, uh, sponsored us, and they gave us the place. So we had two days to uh, do like a hackathon and code out the website, and also uh, decide uh, on what we want to do next. Uh, I hope we will do one again this year. We'll see if uh, there's interest. And this is the picture uh, from that event. Would anyone be interested to come to an open source design summit in, in this year, huh? <laughs> nice. Okay. That's great. Cool. So we'll do it again, I guess. <laughs> and anyone, uh, please feel free to get involved in help organizing. So, yeah. And then... Um, a few new things that we did uh, during the, the last year. Um, if you were here last year at FOSDEM, uh, you, you um, maybe might have heard the, the, that introduction already or you might have been aware. But these are some new things. So we have, for example, have a forum, um, a discourse forum. So we, for example, have a category on communication on collab and collaboration, how to communicate with open source projects, um, and uh, yeah, how to properly, properly bring your design points across, for example. Also, the events that we organize and uh, local meetups uh, that people do. Uh, yeah, logo design and branding, interaction design, usability reviews. So if you're a um, developer also, you can go there and you can, for example, post a mock-up or post your current state of the interface or current logo and just ask for some feedback. Or yeah, um, as we mentioned, the, the job board we also have. You can just post a job there. If you know you need a new logo, just post it there. And that will also create a thread there and um, there can be some conversation about uh, around it. So the events uh, we... we uh, post there in the forum, but we also have local meetups. So, for example, we have a very active uh, meetup in uh, New York City. Um, unfortunately, no one from that meetup uh, can be here. Uh, so, hi to uh, Dina, Julianne, and uh, and uh, Jessica, I think. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, lots lots more people um, who are there at the meetup. And um, yeah. So, if you want to start your own open source design meetup uh, in your city, yeah. So if anybody is in London or anybody near London, can you put one of your parts up in the air? No? Oh, two people. Right. Oh, two, kind of two and a half people. Okay, three people. Yay. So um, I'm trying to think if we can put together uh, a London meetup. There's, I'm sure there's somebody there that, you know, would be interested. Um, so if you want to have a chat about it later on, just let me know. 
Yeah, good stuff. And yeah, Berlin meetup, for example, or Madrid meetup, or yeah. <laughs> And then um, another big thing that we have um, is, the, uh, is our donation uh, platform. So we use uh, this service called Open Collective. Um, it uh, allows you to, to take donations without having like a formal EV or something, which is a lot of paperwork. Um, so actually a lot of open source communities use that service. And um, yeah, we have like, it's, it's kind of like Patreon, you could say, where uh, people pledge like five euros a month or two euros a month or something like that. But as you can see from the number, we had a recent uh, big contribution, and that's very cool from Discourse, um, and because they also basically sponsor our forum. So uh, a lot of thanks to Discourse. Um, and uh, yeah, they gave us uh, $1,000. So that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that just happened uh, in November. And we use the money to print uh, printers or uh, no printers <laughs> to print <laughs> stickers and have the domain. Uh, so yeah, we kind of yeah. administrative stuff. Exactly. Yeah, all kinds of like community related stuff, like the stickers you see here. Please take some stickers um, and uh, yeah, posters and stuff like that. And another thing that happened last year um, was uh, the, another similar um, community called Open Design, who um, is yeah, or, or was focused on uh, bringing designers or getting designers more involved in open source. Uh, we were talking a bit, and we were doing kind of the same thing. So eventually, we joined forces, and uh, yeah, we just basically joined and uh, uh, their their domain forwards to to uh, our open source design.net now, and yeah, so that's very cool because. Uh, if we just uh, work together, that's, that's much better. I mean, that's what open source design is all about, just bringing all the people interested in this area together. And then uh, since a year, I think, roughly, we're already FSFE uh, affiliate uh, organization. So um, yeah, it's, a, it's just an organizational partnership. And we, because we stand behind the values of, of uh, free software and the Free Software Foundation, and we just Two days ago, also finally uh, applied to be an OSI associate organization because we also uh, like them and, of course, open source design. And the logo also is based on that. And EFF also has what they call a EFF Electronic Frontier Alliance. So, and that's in the US. So thanks to our New York City meetup, uh, we applied there too and uh, going to join that soon. And yeah, as we already said, we have a bunch of stickers, a bunch of new stuff. Uh, first year, we actually have stickers. so. Take some, put them on your laptop, and spread the word. And we have a booth um, at downstairs, like at the end, at the cloakroom. And so. Oh, yeah. Belen, do you want to say something about the clinic? Or? Um, it's fine. Yeah. Well, you can, in the stickers, you can basically get the booth. And we also decided to run a little, a little experiment. We call it a design clinic. And basically, we give people 15 minutes to come with their projects and sit down with one of us, just have a chat about the interface. Um, it has to be a generic one, obviously. Um, any recommendations you get are going to be kind of pretty generic and based on best practices. But it's still a, a good chance to hear about your projects and to just discuss uh, some design stuff. So we'll be downstairs all afternoon. So feel free to drop by. All right. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as said, we're an open collective of designers working in open source. Every one of you who is interested in work is welcome to join um, or organize an event or do whatever. Uh, pretty proactive, everyone. And um, yeah. Uh, showing your uh, interest we're growing every year uh, and it's all thanks to you guys so applause to you, Thank you. and uh, yeah are there any questions because we have some time for questions before we will do the group picture <laughs> all right Okay, so what's the business model is, is the question. Well, we don't really have a business model of the collective because the, the aim is to just to bring, like we're more of like an activist group or awareness group. Um, and so individual people of us work in different, uh, different free and open source software projects. So we're people from Wikimedia, from Mozilla, from Nextcloud, from XWiki, from Yocto, from different, or, or, or people who don't work on a specific project at all. Um, so it's mostly bringing these people together and because we exchange what we do and because uh, that way we make it better. Oh, yeah, we also have people from GitLab. Uh, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> but um, 
because we because we exchange the practices that we make also in this in this room, for example, we can be better as a result of that, and uh, as a result of that, be more competitive, and maybe even have exchange on the base that we actually connect among each other. So, because for example, um, I think a real design or a real UX uh, advantage that we have in free and open source software is that we can collaborate among each other because Twitter and Facebook are not going to federate, um, but uh, whatever Diaspora and Mastodon or um, whatever Nextcloud and, and, and GitLab might do on some level, right? So you, you actually have a better chance of, of being competitive through that. And also this group was very good to not feel lonely because if, let's say, for example, if you find an organization and they hire, they're going to hire just one designer because you don't have the funds. So you cannot, you didn't have anyone to talk to and share a thought. So, yeah, but we don't make money from this or we, we're just trying to promote it. And we just hang out together. <laughs> yeah, it's a hangout. It's like open source designers anonymous kind of. <laughs> Any more questions? Sustainability of open source in general. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a good point. Sustainability. So I mean, that's why we have this this donation campaign also. So just to cover the uh, the base things. Um, but yeah, I mean, every one of us kind of goes to FOSDEM anyway with uh, because of our projects that we work on. So I mean, of course, the summit. We we get funding, for example, from Wikimedia Germany. So that's very cool. So yeah, we we're like we're not making any any losses of it. We're not making gains like money gains or whatever. But yeah. And for the job posts, so uh, organizations are encouraged to to pay uh, the designer for, for their work, but we don't handle that, so it will be something between the designer and the organization. Yeah, yeah. and we don't charge for posting a job, because some yeah. people ask us downstairs, you're yeah. posting a job, I request for help, it's good for me. Yeah, just to repeat we, for the microphone, we don't charge for posting a job, so uh, <laughs> feel free to post if you need a logo for your personal open source project or... Yeah, so it's uh, so the question was, well, what's the summit like if it's a conference? So this time we did like a, a kind of a two-day unconference. So um, yeah, people could propose at the morning uh, what topics they wanted to talk about, and we had this grid of uh, of, of topics, and we had uh, two different areas where we did like kind of workshops, and then we also worked on the website, for example, a bit. Uh, yeah, it was very uh, very loose, um, but but very productive. I would say. Yeah. 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 So the question is, uh, if we're also interested in helping designers who are not working on those open source projects, like not using Adobe products, but for example, GIMP or Inkscape or whatever. And yeah, that's also part. I mean, do you want to say something about that, Bilan? Um, tools is definitely part of the story, but also, you know, free and open source software is different as well. So the development process is different. And for a designer, I had this experience myself. If a designer, if you're used to just work uh, to work in commercial projects, it can be a bit of a shock because it's a different environment. And we are happy to kind of share our experience, share uh, techniques that have worked for us. And yeah, not mentor, but just help in any way we can. Um, designers who want to come in and contribute, absolutely. I mean, a lot of people, especially here, were asking, what do we exactly mean when we say design? Uh, and at some point, I, I just started saying, like, everything except database design. So, <laughs> because it has, yeah, and algorithm design and, and, and code architecture design, right? Because design, I mean, in our field, design is pretty clear that it's design, like interface design, UX design, visual design, all that. Um, but just to make that clear, it's like all this. It's also hardware design, if you, if you do that, um, or, yeah. I mean UX design logos and stuff. So um, it's and and uh, we do it like on many different fronts. So for example, uh, where you can find free and open source license fonts or icons or, or resources or how you can use Inkscape and GIMP. But I mean you don't need to. It doesn't matter. Or how you openly license your the work that you do or you use open formats to publish them, um, or that you work on open source projects. Right? It's so many fronts. And I want to make just one, one note regarding the job posts and the types. So we have a few graphic designers. Some are only on research or on usability. And uh, some organization, if they're going to post their request on our platform, we are now currently too few to handle all. So don't be discouraged if you post it and we are not able. If you were to have multiple designers, it would be great. But at least it's a start and it's a place for you to do that. Yeah, and if you if you don't want to get involved like super much right away, just look at the job. If you're a designer, mm -hmm. just look at the job board and maybe look at like making a logo, for example, for some organization who needs it. Like we we don't like 
uh, control that, and it's not just us who do the jobs. We, we aim to bring the people together who need it and, um, and post it. Yeah. If we, if we have resources for setting up a meetup? Oh, oh, okay. Right. So, uh, I mean, the uh, best that, that we that we always do kind of is uh, at, in the forum where we have the, the meetups uh, topic. We just open a topic for the city, like with the city name, um, to see if other people are interested. So, very likely there's other people in the city uh, or um, maybe other people know some people in that city. And uh, then, yeah, we, we just kind of we just kind of grow in like small steps, right? And um, yeah, and we also have a monthly meetup online. So it's the uh, first Tuesday of every month. We're already trying to do. So yeah, we can discuss online. Yeah. There was a question there also, or no? Okay. Yeah. Is the monthly meetup in IRC? The question is if our monthly meetup is, a, is an IRC. Uh, our monthly meetup is, a, um, is in a video chat, uh, and we have the, the address on the, on the website. We are using Jitsi um, mostly, so yeah, just video chat. But we're also regularly on IRC. So if you just drop by, you can make the monthly meetup. Yeah, that's fine. Or in the forum, I mean, that's the, the also the, a good start, I said. And you can introduce yourself there also. And, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we take the photo now, so we will take the photo.